Hey my lovelies, so I'm going to jump right into this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like how these faux locks are looking. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram at Jamexican Beauty. So let's get into it. I use one pack of this Cuban Twist double strand hair in the color 27. I like that pack because I got a lot of hair out of it. Um, and then I used about four packs of the Rasta Offre in color 4 and 27. I actually preferred the other name brand because it gave me more hair and I felt like it gave me a kinkier look. So for braiding hair, I used two different textures. As you can see, I have a whole pack that I didn't use. So I used about two and a half packs of braiding hair. I did two textures. I did a looser pattern right here and a kinkier pattern right here. And this one was a presto curl and I used the color 4 and 27. And in the tighter curl, I just used number 4. For the majority of the time, I wore my dreads up, but when I wore them down, this is how it looked, for those wondering. So now for my parts, I did not use a comb. I used my finger just to give it a more natural look, so none of my parts are the same. Um, but to begin, you're gonna start by moisturizing your hair very good. So right now, I'm using the Shea Moisture um, Curling Smoothie, and I'm just raking that in my hair. And then I will be going in, basically just parting it however I want to. And I will be sealing that in with some oil of my choice. And after detangling very good, you're gonna start braiding your own natural hair, like so. And then you're gonna take one strand of the braiding hair and you're gonna add that to your natural hair. So if you don't know how to box braid, this is like the easiest way to do it because I suck at box braiding, but just watch very close. Just put one end with one of the strands of your real hair and put the other extension end with another part of your real hair. I know that's kind of confusing but it's better just to watch and just braid that braiding hair within your hair. Like it's super easy. So just re-watch that. I'm going to show you guys how to do that again. Um, it's the easiest way to incorporate extensions in your hair if you don't know how to properly braid um, box braids. So then I'm doing the same thing again with another strand of braiding hair and I'm just going to braid this all the way down until my natural hair stops. Now don't worry about this braid being perfect, it does not need to be perfect, just make sure it's secure. So now I'm going to show you one more time how I incorporate braiding hair within my hair. You braid your hair down about an inch or two and then you're going to add the braiding hair to one side. One longer side should be with one natural part of your hair and the shorter side should be with one natural part of your hair. I hope that makes sense but it's easier to watch and just keep incorporating them. I'm using two strands per dread. Now using one strand from the Cuban twist thing, <laughs> you're going to put one shorter end on and then just wrap the hair around that. So basically you're incorporating that shorter piece with the braid that you just braided and just keep wrapping around it to secure it. I wrap around a good 10 times to make sure. And then now you're just going to add another piece like so and you're going to wrap that around the whole entire thing. So use two strands of the Marley hair and then you're just going to wrap that around the whole entire lock until you get to the bottom of your natural hair. It definitely feel like something like this is easier watching than explaining like this way. Just watch me closely and you'll see what I mean. It's super easy. So just continue to take your time and wrap going in the same direction. The reason why I love this hair is because as you can see, I get very full dreads from it because it, it yields a lot of hair. So I actually prefer whatever pack this was. So when you get to the bottom of your natural hair, you're going to tie a knot like so with the Marley hair and the braiding hair. So just tie a knot like so. Make sure it's really tight. And then I'm double knotting it just to make sure it's very secure like so. And then I'm just going to burn that just to make sure it mends together before I cut any loose ends. And then once I feel that it's good enough, that it's mended, I'm just going to cut off that Marley hair, the extra Marley hair on the side. 
Once I cut the extra Marley hair off, I'm just gonna re-burn it so that it doesn't have that straggly end. See that? You don't want that. So I'm gonna re-burn that and then I'm just gonna roll it. And that is it. So pretty much after I do that with my whole head, you're just gonna go ahead and start cutting. Cut however you want your hair to be. I want a short goddess lock, so I'm just trimming all that excess hair off. But I mean, to each his own, if you wanna keep it long, you can too. Or if you wanna wrap your, your dreads longer, you definitely can do that too. But I wanted a short look, so that's why I stopped my dreads so high. And yeah, once you cut it, cut it, cut it, okay I'm done, um, once you cut it to your liking, um, yeah, just rock it, I mean, that's pretty much it, so this is a super easy tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, and if you have any questions about what I did and how I did it, if I didn't explain it right, just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to explain it, but yeah, that's it, bye guys, I'll see you next Friday.